Hello, I am Nick the Tool and I'm here to tell you about the new interfaces on Snap-on Diagnostic Tools. If you're using any of the current platforms, Snap-on Diagnostic wise, then you need to be aware that the interfaces between the vehicle and the tool are changing. Now you'll have heard Snap-on franchisees talk about the CAN bus system within the vehicle and if you're good on diagnostics then you know all about CAN bus. What that does is that's the interface that moves information from the vehicle to the diagnostic tool and the way we do that is through one of our leads. Now you'll see these leads in the back of your normal diagnostic tool if you're using one of the lower models. If you're using one of the high-end models then you may be using one of the modules like this which is a Bluetooth module that just plugs into that 16 pin connector which enables you to communicate. Now things are changing. What's actually happening is newer vehicles and it's mainly a few different manufacturers I've made a note of them we've got BMW, Jaguar, Volvo and Jag um, and uh, sorry BMW, Volvo, JLR are certainly using these systems on their new vehicles and Volvo have been using them since 2016 on their XC90 and what I'm talking about is the DOIP lead or DOIP communication, which stands for Digital Over Internet Protocol. So DOIP I'll refer to it as, and this is what you may hear it spoken about. Now, these information portals that are giving this information to the diagnostic tool are carrying huge amounts of data. What happens is if we were to use the existing leads that come with your Snap-on products, the amount of information coming through would just be far too fast and this will slow down the diagnostic tool and we wouldn't be able to read that information quickly. So this new protocol that the manufacturers are putting on enables you to be able to send large information packages out to whatever tool is reading the information and around the vehicle. So it tends to be more of the things that are using for some of the cameras that are on vehicles now, some of the blind spot mirrors, all this kind of stuff which all the new technology is all about there. So anyway, let's cut to the chase and see what you need to change. So if you have currently got a diagnostic tool running the standard lead like this, and you want to be able to do the new DOIP information, then you are gonna to need to change this lead to this new lead. And it, all it will do is it plugs in exactly the same way to your diagnostic tool. It has this bulky interface in here, which is going to give you change all the information through and put it at the right speed. The standard lead is a bit slimmer, but this needs to be in there. So we've made it as small as we possibly can. But what we've also incorporated onto here is you press this button and when this is connected to a diagnostic tool, this will actually light up to help you find um, the socket where you're trying to plug it in. It can be a bit irritating to try and find where they go sometimes. So that's your conventional product. So if you are using a Solus or you're using a Zeus sorry, a Solus or a Triton or a Modis Edge, anything like these, then that's the type of lead you will need to change. So I'll put the information part numbers in the text description for this video. If you look here, these are the two interfaces, how they've changed for the Zeus. And this is um, very similar in its design, but it does work slightly better. So if we look at this one here, this is the conventional one that you're used to be seeing if you're using a Zeus and you may have the high-vis boot that goes over the top, so less likely to leave it in the car, and that is known as an S5 module. Now, this one here is the S7 module. This is the brand new module, which will enable you to do the DOIP stuff, and it has the same light on here, so you press the button on the front, just like you can on the normal Zeus one. It looks exactly the same. It is slightly larger in size. You notice it's black instead of red, so you can identify it straight away. And this interface also has a buzzer built into it. So if you leave it in the car and you remove the diagnostic tool away, it will realize you've left this behind and then this will start to beep. So there's less chance of you leaving it in the vehicle. So you probably won't need the high-vis uh, boot on the newer version. So I hope that makes things a little bit easier for you. Um, it is a bit of a confusing topic as we're finding diagnostics is continually changing but the simple thing is snap-on are ready for it and we have a lead that will enable you to communicate with these vehicles if the vehicle needs DOIP 
it will actually come up on the screen and it will say you need to fit the lead. So if you want to be ahead of the game, then you need to talk to your Snap-on franchisee about getting either the new interface or the new lead, or maybe you just want to wait until those vehicles start to come into the workshop, but you know we're ready for it. So if you want to know more, then just talk to the guy that comes to your call. I'll see you on my next video.